In this video, I'll be working through how to build a construct in Gibson Construct Designer. What we'll be building is an arsenic sensor that uses the 2010 Cambridge team's Vibrio Fisheri Lux Operon as its output, and the 2009 Groningen team's Arsenic Promoter, and all sitting in our old friend PSB1C3. Note that all of these are bio brick parts. You can also upload your own parts in GenBank format, or take parts from the Nucleotide database. This also isn't a complete arsenic biosensor, but it should give you the idea of how things work. First off, let's add the plasmid. This is quite easy. We just type PSB1C3 in the box and up it pops. Next, let's add the Lux genes. If we go to the team wiki, we can see a nice list of all of the parts. Here's the one we want. Just copy the ID, put it in the box, and it's added. Lastly, the arsenic promoter. Same thing, from the registry itself this time though. Copy its ID across, and it's sorted. Now this is all in the wrong order. We can quickly fix that. The other problem is we currently have two promoters plugged into Lux CDEG, PBAD on the Lux Brig and the arsenic promoter, which is obviously not going to work. Therefore, we need to make sure we only select from the end of the old Lux CDEG promoter. That's PBAD. Job done. All we need to do now is save, and then we can progress. Hit save, enter a name. OK. Now hit process. Now hit process. This will take a little while, depending on server load, maybe up to 10 to 15 seconds for small constructs like this. When it's ready, we'll get a PDF with a description of the construct, and then data sheets for all the primers with the melting temperature for the annealing portion, as well as the whole primer, along with secondary structures and Gibbs free energy. All that's required now for you is to order the oligos and get going with the science. Anyone who's designed primers for Gibson assembly before will know it can be a long and frustrating process. Hopefully the software will make it a lot quicker and easier. Thanks for watching.